exactly does Michael Thomas's injury, surgery, and rehab involve? Yeah, it's first rest, then rehab, and then a gradual return to performance level athleticism. Medical reporter Meg Ferris takes a closer look. It's not what Houdats want to hear about number 13. It's probably an easy three or four months. That process can take, in my experience, he's looking at four months. Tulane sports medicine and rehab physician Dr. Greg Stewart has not treated Michael Thomas, but says the type of surgery that the wide receiver had in June was to sew and tighten up ligaments. They were essentially stretched in that game opener last season. The goal, to make the ankle stabilize the foot again. So every time he would plant his foot, there's a little bit of motion, more than what you would want. So it hurts, it uh, potentially sets him up for some arthritis. The reason he thinks surgery was not performed sooner? If you can go through with rehabilitation and the tissue heal on its own, you're generally better than if you go in and fix it. This is a game changer because I'd catch passes on it. So I'm stabilizing while I'm mobilizing. NFL athletes like Peyton Manning have gone through Mackie Shilstone's performance training program. Thomas is not one of them, but he would have him go through physical therapy on a BOSU ball first, then would make him catch passes on a balance beam. After all, this is not regular rehab. This is can't guard Mike. Catching the ball is one thing. Increased yardage is millions of dollars. Michael Thomas has to perform his, his change of direction COD very quickly, and he must be deceptive. All of that places immeasurable strain on the ankles. Another this issue is, is that any damaged so nerves would have to heal as well. Problem. To make this single season record holder for receptions, 100% healed and not at risk for injury again. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. In general, elite athletes heal faster and they have access to the latest rehab technology and treatments. But Mackey says a recent study finds that a quarter of athletes can have chronic problems. 